Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are just going to discuss about the purchase agreement which is call for tender. So call for tender is also known as invitations of the tender. is a formal process of just getting multiple tenders uh, from the suppliers or the vendors who are interested to sell a particular product. Let's say uh, the buyer needs to buy a wear lead. So he will get the tender from multiple vendors. We know different vendors will be having different prices for the product, the quality will be different and th that will be having different delivery date and all. So the buyer will uh, check for the um, prices and all other criteria and will confirm one of the RFQ. So as uh, the buyer just confirm one of the RFQ, all other tenders or all other RFQs will be automatically cancelled by Oro. And uh, this would always create a competition with uh, lower prices of the product, with high quality of the product and with a least delivery lead time. So let's see how can we make use of the call for tender in Odoo 17 purchase module. To manage with the call for tender, let's get into the configuration settings of the purchase module and we need to enable the purchase agreement and that will let you to choose your purchase agreement that is call for tender and blanket order. So as we have just saved the purchase agreement in the configuration settings, now we are just going straight to the orders in order to create the RFQ. So let me choose one of the vendor over here. And here you can choose the vendor that is Azure Interior and let's choose a product which is Wear Lair. So here we are just going to get the tender for Wear Lair product and you can see that the price and units, everything will be automatically configured over here. So uh, let's set the quantity. And let's move on to the alternative and under the alternative this would allow you to create a call for tender by adding the alternative request for quotations to the different vendors and you can make choices by selecting the best combinations of the lead time otd and or the total amount you can also compare the product lines and you can also decide to order some products from one vendor and uh, others from other vendor now let's create an alternative so um I'm going to set the vendor over here as paid events and we need to just copy the product and let's create a, a alternative and paid events would uh, like to give the product for just four rupees and we can set the price over there and we also need to create another alternative and you would be able to find uh, the vendors are under the vendor list as we are just going with the call for tenders here we are just inviting the tenders just to compare the prices just to compare the product qualities and the delivery lead time and everything so uh, let's create another tender also from another vendor where you can just search for the vendor from the vendor list and here you can choose the vendor that is williamson and let's create the alternative by setting the price so this um, guy would like to provide the product for just 3.5 and um, let's move on to the alternative and we can also just get the vendors uh, from the existing RFQ. Like we can just link uh, the tenders from the existing RFQ. So let me choose the one over here and let's select that. And um, we can now compare the product lines. So uh, this shows the product prices with uh, the product having the least price and everything. So as you just click on choose, all other uh, vendor will be nullifying like the prices will be setting to zero and we know um, call for tender is the procedure of um, getting invitations uh, from different I mean sending invitations to uh, different mentors by the buyer so here the buyer would like to get the product from billion sun as he is just providing uh, the price as 3.50 for the product so let's uh, choose the uh, yeah product from billion sum so let's click on choose and you can see that the price now has just turned into zero now uh, let's move on to the um, yeah winter list and you would be able to find that the uh, price has shown for each of the purchase um, or I mean purchase reference number and currently you can see that all are in its uh, RFQ state which means we have just created um, attenders and the created tenders will be in its draft state now we can just confirm the order um and um, 
and to confirm the order let's back to the rfq that we were dealing with and let's choose the um yeah choose uh, our confirm tender and now we are just going to confirm the order and here you can see that um either we can just create uh, i mean keep this uh alternative tenders over here or we can just cancel as we don't want to keep this uh, tender is we can just click on cancel and you can see now the rfq has just turned into the purchase order now we can just keep the item so let's click on receive and let's uh, click on validate button so that we can just keep the item into stock and here you would be able to find that we have just kept the item in the stock now as you just move on to the orders under the RFQ, you can just remove the filter. And here you would be able to find that we have just taken the product from uh, Tina, Williamson and other RFQ are automatically cancelled over here. So this is how we manage with uh, the yeah, um, call for tender in Odoo 17 purchase module. Call for tender always ensures a fair and open competition among the suppliers. So I hope this video clarifies how to use call for tender in Odoo Semdin purchase module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo uh, tutorials, feel free to contact Cyprus's. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.